More than 500 extra heavy, domestically made armored vehicles have been delivered to the Iranian army, amid U.S. efforts aimed at releasing a new package of sanctions against Tehran. Heavy equipment, produced by Iranian military experts, including tank carriers and semi-heavy trucks operated in the presence of the Iranian army commander, Major General Abdelrahim Mousavi, during a ceremony on October 28. Iran has taken major strides in the production of critical military equipment and defense systems in the face of decades of sanctions and arms embargoes in the country. On October 22, Iran completed a massive air defense exercise codenamed Defenders of Velayat Skies 99, which included demonstration of surface-to-air missiles, launchers, radar, and command and control equipment. In recent years, Iran has prioritized readiness and integration of its air defense assets through such drills. The drills began days after the lifting of the 13-year ban on Iranian arms exports and imports on October 18 under the terms of UN Security Council Resolution 2231 which blessed the 2015 nuclear deal between the Islamic Republic and world powers. After the repeal, however, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo warned that the United States would impose sanctions on any individual or entity assisting Iran's weapons program, a move that is likely to further exacerbate tensions between Washington and Tehran. The United States announced on October 29 that it had reportedly held Iranian missiles sent to Yemen and sold the previously held 1.1 million barrels of Iranian oil bound for Venezuela. The U.S. Treasury and the State Department have jointly imposed sanctions on 11 different entities and individuals for their involvement in the purchase and sale of Iranian petrochemicals. The sanctions freeze any blacklisted assets of those stationed in the U.S. and generally prohibit Americans from dealing with them. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said the sanctions were part of a campaign of maximum pressure to limit the Iranian regime's ability to alert its neighbors and destabilize the Middle East.